Hi guys, Kevin here once again, give you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of news and informational videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more content like this, and it really helps support the channel. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as it ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. So yes, you heard me right. It sounds like we might get some Halo Infinite news coming up very soon at one of the biggest gaming events of the year, Gamescom. Gamescom is a yearly event that happens over in Cologne, Germany, which basically is just everything gamer related. Well, it happens then. I would say this is like Europe's version of E3, but it's not exactly that. It's much more of a convention and a place for people to get together, game a lot, and also we have new reveals and talk about upcoming projects and things like that. And it looks like Microsoft is going to be doing just that. Xbox just posted on their website their plans for what they're going to be doing for Gamescom 2021. It looks like they're going to have a significant presence there, which they're planning to do a live stream Tuesday, August 24th for Pacific Center Time. It's 10 a.m., 1 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. BST, and 7 p.m. CEST. So why should you tune in to Gamescom's live stream? What they say right here is saying, on the date that we mentioned earlier, saying to learn more about our biggest exclusive games lineup ever. Obviously being Halo Infinite being probably the biggest game in their exclusive lineup, we're probably gonna hear something about Halo Infinite, at least I have it mentioned within this live stream. So you'll get an in-depth updates from some of our previously announced Xbox Studio titles alongside some of our third-party partners, including some of the incredible titles coming to Xbox this holiday, upcoming releases to our monthly subscription service, Xbox Game Pass, and much more. So what's a previously announced Xbox Game Studio title? Obviously, Halo Infinite. Now, this doesn't exactly mean that we're going to see like an absolutely massive presence of Halo at Gamescom. We've seen it previously, but generally it's rather light. Maybe more just kind of reiterating things that we already know about the game that's maybe coming out or anything. I've done some research trying to look up what uh, Halo Infinite's presence has been at previous Gamecom since we've known Halo Infinite's have been a thing since 2018. And uh, honestly, I haven't really been able to find anything. Uh, the last thing I saw really when it comes to Halo and Gamescom was the crossover that I had for Gears of War 5 where Cat and Emil were put into Gears of War 5. That's about like the only kind of like Halo news I was able to find when it comes to Gamescom. So I don't expect a whole lot to happen. People are saying they might see a release date be announced with this. I doubt that, but this could be very possible as we've had some more time to pass. And I'm sure that Xbox Game Studio has been kind of understanding what the different sphere of how things are going to be lined up for the holiday season. Though I still hold strong that we will not receive a release date for Halo Infinite until we know the release date, at least time frame for Call of Duty. And the reason why I think Call of Duty has such a huge emphasis on when we're going to see the release date, because a lot of people have been holding on the November 15th or maybe 16th uh, release date because the 15th would be the 20th anniversary of Xbox and Halo, so it would be quite the occasion to release a new Halo game on the 20th anniversary of the franchise. Though, the last Call of Duty game might have something to say about that release time frame because the last Call of Duty game, Black Ops Cold War, was released on November 13th of 2020. Obviously, you cannot release a Halo game that close to a Call of Duty release date because you just want its time to shine. You don't want anything to overshadowing the release of Halo Infinite. So essentially what Microsoft wants to do is try to avoid a Titanfall 2-like situation that happened with that game, if you guys don't remember. The issue with Titanfall 2 is that it kind of got squished between the release of the new Battlefield game and a new Call of Duty game. Like literally within less than a week of those two games releasing, there was Titanfall 2. And a lot of people tr attribute the lack of success to Titanfall 2 to that release window because so many people are going to be playing Battlefield and Call of Duty. You're releasing such a busy time frame, your game's going to get lost within the mix of everything. And we want Halo ha to have its time to shine. We, you know, we want to make sure that it doesn't really have to compete with any other major shooters within that time frame. So then people get a chance to make content on it. We'll have a chance to stream it. You know, Halo Infinite will be like the number one game on Twitch the day it releases. But you can't have it be like the day before the next Call of Duty game because everyone's going to be playing the next Call of Duty because everyone wants to play the new hotness. 
Though we could see some expanded information on what we already know about Halo Infinite. Or maybe if they're willing to tease more information on what's going to be coming for the game as well. I certainly will keep my eye on this event, guys. If anything happens, you guarantee I'll let you know on this channel. You know, it's kind of what we do here. And next on the list here, guys, we actually have some MCC news. Yes, we have some news about the Master Chief Collection. We have It's been, been kind of like put aside ever since after this Halo Infinite information and gameplay has been playing out for us, guys, that we're just so focused on Halo Infinite that we still have MCC to play right now. And we actually finally got some decent little bit of information about it. Uh, a recent Friday blog update went up about talking about the updates when it comes to future MCC blog. Well, it sounds like we're gonna get a pretty thick boy when it comes to some information coming for the MCC and possibly season eight. As we really haven't had a state of the game kind of blog update for quite some time because really MCC has just been kind of just going through the paces right now in the moment. You know, we're not really seeing big major development updates, but we're gonna be seeing a big development update coming for us guys very soon. Mentioned here saying tell Farns says hi, and we want to do a bigger blog on some cool stuff. We don't have a timeline yet, but no one is coming in the future. Postums continues on saying, so consider yourself notified. We'll circle back with something later this year. So what could this actually be? We don't really know for sure when it comes to what's going on with the MCC, because right now I feel like MCC just kind of run into the paces of just, you know, adding more Halo Online content, you know, kind of a little drip feed right there to kind of keep people satiated over the waiting time until Halo Infinite actually releases. We do know that 343 is currently taking feedback on the customer game browser for the MCC. There's a lot to be done there, I feel, still when it comes to making that feature really what it can possibly be. But right now it works totally fine. It's still fun to play around with. I still do it all my streams quite often, which by the way, link in the description down below. We do stream every Tuesday and Thursday evening. But Farns mentioned that they need a bigger blog on some of the cool stuff that they're working on right now. It's very interesting. Could this possibly be a reference to the larger battles that we're going to be might be seen that was hinted by Dursky in a stream a while ago, talking about having like 40, 60 player lobbies for the MCC? That would be pretty freaking cool. Uh, we also heard more about official modding tools when it comes to the entirety of the MCC. I feel like that's also being a huge focus that's been working in the background for the Master Chief Collection at the moment. Because if you can let modders have the official mod tools for the game for the entirety of the MCC, that is a gigantic sandbox for people to jump in and play around with and create some really interesting things. Like I've said previously, that modding is going to be the lifeblood of the MCC to get people to keep coming back to the game, keep the game installed on their hard drive even after the release of Halo Infinite. And having a larger player count lobby would be pretty freaking cool and certainly would be something that would need to actually have a probably a larger update about just because it would be something changing when it comes to server sizes and maybe have to reallocate some kind of resources to have these larger player count servers available if they are in the works right now. I know that these, like I said earlier, that they're testing around with it, playing around with it, but is it something that's gonna be implemented to the MCC? Certainly hasn't been confirmed yet, but they're just playing around with it at the moment. Like I said earlier, I guarantee I'll let you guys know on this channel as soon as we get some more MCC news for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this news about news coming video guys. If you like these kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. If you miss any content from me, check out the videos on the screen. And here I got a playlist for all my Halo Infinite news update videos we've been uploading daily about. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.